Well, howdy, folks. How y'all is? I'm currently in the state of Oklahoma. Come up here because there's a uh, wedding uh, venue that wants me to bid some weddings. And uh, it's kind of weird. Like, the stuff in the cities right now is still pretty shut down. It's hard to get uh, any kind of convention business at all in the major cities. But out in the rural areas, uh, things are starting to open back up pretty nicely. So, uh... Typically, you don't like doing weddings. They're kind of a pain in the butt. And you got a bride and a, and a bride's mother and all these people to deal with. And they, they all want different things for their daughter or whatever. So it's always a pain in the butt doing weddings. But uh, if that what pays the bills right now, that's what pays the bills right now. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of the corporations still ain't doing any kind of big events. So uh, it's still a very hard time, even though things have opened up in Texas and Oklahoma. Not a lot of big uh, convention stuff going on, so uh, you gotta kind of pick your battles, find you something to do, even if it's just uh, you know a hundred person wedding, two hundred person wedding, whatever. It's, it's income. So go check this place out and see what it has to offer me. If I can get some work out of this place, hope so. They called me, so that's good. You have just cold calling someplace, it makes it a lot harder than if they actually contact you. So that, that's a good sign that you get some work out of the deal. But it's still just really rough uh, in this business. Uh, it's not opened up. It's probably the last thing to open up. I know air, airlines and all have started opening back up fairly well. You know, a lot of people flying again and all. And uh, the thing about the airlines is that their industry always gets bailed out by the government, always. So uh, our industry is completely different. You know, if you're in the uh, convention business, you're kind of screwed. I mean, it's just, it's uh, unfortunate, but it's the way it rolls. So it's been a year now since the complete lockdown, shutdown, and everything completely dried up. And uh, I haven't made a lot of money in that last year just uh, spot stuff here and there so money is getting tight uh i was hoping that i would get uh maybe some of the insane on the road series or something would take off and i start getting uh, at least some money to travel on off youtube but it hadn't worked out yet uh, i've been at this channel for over four years and it just never really got its teeth in anything you know it's just uh I watched a lot of other channels that started at the same time I did that really grew and mine didn't. I think that part of the problem is I, I try to show a lot of variety so it's not a boring channel where you get some road stuff, get some cooking stuff, get some cool eateries on the road, roadside attractions, uh, back roads, you know, just a nice variety of stuff. And I don't think those kind of channels get promoted. I think uh, YouTube's algorithm wants you to do the same thing, you know, show the same stuff every day, have a set kind of program where I'm going to show you how to cook this. The video is going to be 10 minutes long. I'm going to upload once a week or I'm going to upload three times a week or whatever your schedule is. And they'll then they'll promote you. But, uh, for whatever reason, they never promoted the uh, the channel like I hoped they would. Uh, I thought a, a good variety channel. I know the subscribers on here, a lot of you guys enjoy the variety we do because it's not stale and boring, you know. But, uh, you know, it would be cool because I wanted to try to make a few few bucks on AdSense so I could uh, offset some of the travel costs and show y'all more travel stuff. But uh, this hasn't panned out as of yet. So maybe if you guys shout things out on social media and try to share some of the videos you like, uh, you know, hopefully we can get to a point where we can do that. But I'm starting to have my doubts. It's been over four years and it still hasn't taken off. I guess uh, just keep trying. All you can do really. And, uh, I toned down all the cussing stuff from early on. I did a lot of cussing, which were fun to do. But uh, YouTube really shunned those kind of videos. Uh, especially if you use the F word, they just won't they just won't show your videos. So I had to call that out, which uh, I was looking for an alternative platform to still do those kind of videos because those are fun to do and people enjoy them. But uh, YouTube kind of stricken down last year or so, so I had to cut all that out. So I do hope you like the new program we've been doing, trying to show you more road stuff and cool food stuff and, and all that. 
one thing I do hate about driving way up in Oklahoma this time of year is uh, you can see the cloud formations. We got real low base. Uh, there is a chance of severe weather, and uh, this is the time of year when tornadoes can just come down out of anywhere. So it is a little nerve wracking driving uh, in places you don't know and don't know the weather, uh, what it's going to be like exactly. Anyway, to uh, back to the point of the AdSense and all, you got to have a good 50 to 100,000 subscriber base. And I'm very far from that, 25, 50 times away from getting to that point to actually uh, make a few bucks where you could offset some of your travel expenses. Uh, I'm not into crowdfunding. I do have super chat on my live streams, but I very, very rarely go live. Like every three months or so, I go live, not very often. Uh, the live stream just went my thing. I'm really into the editing and putting together like a storyboard uh, in the videos. Uh, that's kind of, to me, I mean, I love shooting the, the films and going to unique places and stuff like that, but it's the, the putting the story together uh, when you're filming is the coolest part to me. I love the editing. I love the making a storyline out of all the different shots you get and uh, for me like when you see the film it may not be shot in sequence the way it appears to you guys I have an idea for this or that and I shoot that part and then I shoot some filler stuff around it and kind of build a story which makes it more interesting to the viewer especially on those road trip stuff uh, so anyway we'll see how it goes maybe uh, I gotta do something to get like a viral video get a big bigger base uh, and I'm not really into all the uh, I'm not at all into the uh, drama type stuff and all that's what gets a lot of views but it's just not my style uh, I was not a Jerry Springer fan so you know so one of the ideas I have for a show so when we first uh, brought the trailer up to our land area I had the trailer in a RV uh, resort park uh, it was a nice one but uh, I was you know getting to know some of these people or neighbors and all and there are some throwed off people in an RV park let me tell you I had this idea for a show I was like I need to interview some of these people I think it'd be entertaining I think uh, I think it'd be a good show it's going around and doing interviews with people in RV parks because uh a lot of them have just a completely different mindset than the normal uh, ham and egg does. So I think it'd be a funny show. I think it'd be interesting to, to hear the, their take on things compared to what a brick and mortar type person thinks. Uh, completely different. Um, now, I've noticed one thing in the trailer park. Everybody overcusses, so it uh, have to be non-monetized type stuff but I think it'd be a funny show so you guys let me know if you'd like to see that because I think it would be a I think it'd be a pretty good show y'all let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that uh, series I might do a series of three or four episodes or something see how it goes well I'm getting close here so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to find out what kind of cut these people want out of doing weddings uh, in their venue also, what kind of equipment and uh, area they had to work in and what it's going to take for me to bring stuff here to do uh, weddings and if it's going to be uh, difficult or fairly simple or what. This place is about an hour and 45 minutes, just under two hours from Dallas, so uh, we'll see. I do have a uh, chef friend that has a restaurant about halfway between here, so there is a chance of using his place in a staging area if uh, they don't have a place here to stage out of and stuff, so we'll see.